wrinkles on the website that we gotta, we gotta get it straightened out. Who's got access to what? Uh, Tommy Torno was at four. Sue Collins at four ten. Mandy and Christine coming in at four fifteen. Uh, Mandy coming back in at four thirty or staying for four thirty uh, to talk about the ballot and the events ordinance. And somebody coming in to talk about taxes five fifteen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ben. Are you on the agenda? 4.30. He's here for 4.30. Oh, 4.30. Oh, okay. Are we ready? Ready as ever. Ready as ever. Well, so that means you don't pay attention. Uh -huh. <laughs> I always do. What? No, I'm <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, I have a abatement from Lisa Libby on 56 Richardson Drive. And Royce and I talked about it this morning because we had assessed her at a, as a small ranch. And it isn't. It's a 98 Titan double wide, 26 by 40 with a 20 by 20 edition. Oh, been back to that place about three times now, and finally we got the information. You went over the other night or something, wasn't it? Didn't we talk about this the other night? 56. We may have. I don't yeah. think I. Or Friday. No. No. no, that was 46. No. Where did it was 46 the other night. That's right. Um, and she just came in to sign this, yeah. so I t this. asked her to come in so I could have it get it going. But anyway, it's. Um, and I should write these numbers down. So it's a 20. 1988 Titan, so that's 25 plus it's got a 20 by um, 20 edition. Which where are you coming up with 25 on the eight? That's just what it factored out. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the lowest amount is 25. Yeah, so it went below that. Yes, it was 21 or something. So, and then the edition <laughs> is I don't know why I didn't write that down. 52, 53. First, this was one that they've done. A beautiful job on the house. It looks like a house, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> That's what's had us going on this thing. I could tell that it had a slab, but I didn't. Ha I couldn't see the mobile home frame. So apparently they have that in there. That's why they they're calling it a double Y. Okay. Uh, what I've been told on the story now, it's you can see. You, I can picture where the frame is there now. It's on the long side, uh, away from the road. So it's. So the total assessment is 46, the new total assessment <coughs> is 46, um, zero, one, two. So when I subtract that from the 128,000, it comes to 81,988. And so I figured out put them here, and yeah. so it needs to be approved. Let me get a second. Um, Here's this one. Sure. Yeah. Like the ones they have out front? Probably. Oh, maybe it got maybe. relocated. It's no big thing. Do you guys ever find your camera that you were searching for a couple of months ago? Yeah, I showed up. Where did that go? It was in the drawer. Did you ask what the, how they wanted this as a 
they don't pay any They taxes. don't have any choice. It just goes to a credit because they they were over assessed. So you know they haven't paid anything. Yeah, paid. Anything, and anything. I just talked to her. and said oh, it'll yeah. just go on. It will just get credited yeah. to your account. She says, anything. okay, that's fine. Yeah. Is one hundred eighty five coming now? One hundred eighty five days. Well, it's our mistake for one thing, but the bill right. just went out. So right. yeah, it's within one hundred eighty five so, days. Yeah, oh, that's right. What's that like? Okay, I'm sorry. Sure. My foolish question. Hey, and after all smiles, right? It's only been about ten days, hasn't it? <laughs> one person had all the answers. That's all you need is one person. That's In right. In the whole world. And that's, that's been right. tried a few times. <laughs> a page of wars followed. It doesn't work out so well. <laughs> Oh, okay, so are you ready for the next item? Yep. Okay, so, uh, and I kind of knew this was going to happen. I got a call from Tom Simpson regarding that property on Bog Road, that, tri that mobile home, the first one on the left when you go in. Mm -hmm. And he's, he left a message, so I figured somebody could call him back and explain it to him. But... Um, so his question was, why did it go from 29000 on the assessment of the mobile home to 57 something And you and I talked about it. I mean, you had measured it and had the additions and everything. Mm -hmm. So do you want to call him? If you want me to, I need you to. Okay. I do need you to. <laughs> I can tell that, well, because I've spoken to him before, and it's the type of thing that... You know, you should be the one to tell him because you're the assessor. Because I will be talking about it to him, and you know, I won't get anywhere. Yep. Um, Gary Taylor called. I not called. He came in. He is down on Apache Lane. Do you know who I'm talking about? No his, name. No. Oh yeah, I do. I know. I know where he is. Yep. He was assessed. Um, I know which one it is. Waterfront. At eighty yep. percent, with a two car garage. So his assessment went up to one twenty five, with a two car garage, and he doesn't understand why. And so he's another one who wants somebody to call him. And I talked to him, and I said, you know, they went out, and you know, it's eighty percent done. You know, and then he went on about, well, I don't have a foundation, and this and that. It's on a slab, and you know, so. Again, I said somebody would call him. Have him come in. That's why he needs to You want me to have him come yep. in? All right, I'll that give him a call, and I'll have him come in. Yeah, that one I do. Okay. And then... Um, Not that we have a whole lot of time, because October is pretty heavy with, with um, budgets. So work around that budget. Are they on the calendar yet? I think so. Yeah, Royce put them on, yep. I believe. Yep. I'll All right, call. I'll call him and get him back in here. Um, and then this is the Dot Brown one. She came in last at the end of last week and signed this again. And I asked her, I said, is this still what you want to do? And she said, yes. So then you guys can decide what you want to do with that. Um, you know which one that one is? Mm, I that one. So maybe I could oh, get him to come in Thursday. Uh, this Thursday that Gary Taylor because you don't have you've got Jeanette at 430 and me at 4 because you know I have to be in at 4 mm -hmm. so do you know how long Jeanette's going to be at 430 for an executive I'll give him 530 I'll see if he'll come at 5 what time she come at 430 430 5 would be alright mm -hmm. okay I'll, I'll see hour. if he can come. I don't even think I'm going to need it because you guys are going to talk about it tonight. I don't know if you want to reserve it. Until I want to reserve it. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's All fine right. with me. So I'll just call him and see if he can come on Thursday. That's on the first. I can't believe it's already going to be October. Mm. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mm hmm. Crazy. You get a lot of assessing to do before snow flies. Yes, you do. <laughs> you absolutely do. All that spare time of mine. Yes. You hunting this year? Nope. <laughs> From the waterfront. <laughs> and I don't know if I should make copies for all of you, but this is um, Carolyn Griffith will be coming in. Yep. And so it was assessed as a mobile home for years, and you discovered this year that it was a small ranch, so that's why her assessment changed. 
She didn't want to score for it. You may have. She wants to, she's coming in. I printed this when it was at 78, but now this is <coughs> what the assessment is, 128. Because it is a address. I remember one. Oh, it's um, 625 Lower Guinea. Oh, it wasn't Lower Guinea. Okay. Yeah. So that one that you guys did? That's one of my neighbors, so I may re recuse myself a bit from that one. Is that the one who says I'll take care of that on my own? No, I said I'll take care of that. You're going to get that no spin Lebanon's on going ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <coughs> <laughs> what? Getting him in trouble. Trying, yeah. Trying. <laughs> okay, so is she? Oh, oh, Mandy and Christina coming at four fifteen. All right, so I'll get going. Um, and the other thing is, is I spoke to Judy Dorr from MMA today, and she ca she called me, and um, she said what we need to do is get a copy of the current workers' comp policy the loss runs in an experience mod worksheet, which I guess I have to call. Probably all right there in that book. Whatever, okay. I, it's either here or I brought it up to you. I brought it up to you and put it on your desk last week. I don't know if you- All right, I'll, um, right, is it, this isn't it right here. Cause I got a copy of the mod. Ah, uh, yeah, that's it. I think that's it. Um, okay, so if it's current, then I can do that without calling. I know what the current <laughs> mod rate I know what it is. I mean, I know okay. how to copy something. Yeah. All right. And um, so she said, it really <laughs> to get a to get a quote, it's not possible to go out further than ninety days. If you do that, they, you get what they call an intention. That's fine. But I told her, you know, I said I think if we can get that by the very beginning of February at the latest, then, you know we can go from there. And she said, as far as the property and casualty, um, they usually use the same numbers that are currently being used as a comparison because she said, I'm sure Norton or whoever you have is going to want to, you know, compare. And she said, you know, and I mentioned the fact that there were a couple buildings that were probably going to be less. And she said, that's fine. You can tell them, you know, that you want them less. But she said, you also probably need to tell your other insurance company so that when the, the quotes come in. They're apples to apples, yeah. Right. And, um, and then, oh, she said the other thing that she said, after the initial quote, their loss control will come and do a Marshall and Swift. Mm -hmm. What's that? Is that a full assessment? No, it's a cost analysis. Oh, okay. Yeah, Marshall and Swift is a nation, nationwide cost analysis. I'd actually like to get that software in here for us for assessing, but I looked into it, it's about 800 bucks a year. Oh, for a the year? Software. Yeah. So that's, you know, where she's at. And um, so if the soonest I can get that to her, and I'll make sure I'll check with you guys again about what I'm sending, because I don't want to send the wrong thing. Um, and you don't think I need to call Norton to get that um, workers' comp stuff? You can check in the book. I don't All know. Right. Kind of need to. But. Okay. Um, and she said too that you I know. Just call Memic anyway. Memic does that workers' comp. No. But they won't do it. Um, That's why I originally called. Yeah. And I will call them first because I've got somebody's name. But when I called them the first time, they in turn called Norton, who, yeah. you know, that Margaret called me, and then Margaret called yeah. Mike, and mm. got that whole pot stirred up. So um, I, I can try them again, because I do have a name of somebody that I can call and ask them. And they need, they have to give it to us. I mean, it's not like it's, you know, they can't mm. share it. Because we did this before, and I have that same information in a folder that, you know, we got from them yeah. back then. So, yeah. And it was actually 2006. Seven, I think, was the last time we did it. Yeah. I got, I've or seen did the big thing. We talked about doing it again, and then it got shot down. Here. Yes, when Judy was here. Yeah. Um, so, so I'll look into that. And um, I don't know what else I was going to tell you. Something. I don't know. I guess that's it. 
Are you thinking of changing the town's insurance? We're putting our feelers out. Oh, yeah. Wait, you trying to get rid of me? Yeah, trying to get rid of you, so, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Unfortunately. Can I get it? Oh, yeah, I've got it right here. Carolyn, go for it. Yes. Okay. And this, you can take a look at that, right? Yeah. Um, what the heck was, there was something else I wanted to tell you. Well, if I think of it, I'll butt back in. You'll be back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So chew on that one until somebody comes. And that one. Oh, wait a minute now. What's your name? Puntain. Ask me again. I'll tell you the same. <laughs> Can I see vendor number one forty-three? One forty-three. No, she called. She wanted to know what the payment was. One four-three. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Didn't we already lower that once? Didn't we talk that over and then, or did we actually do action on it? We did. And now <laughs> she's looking for an abatement for the last three years on it uh, because we just lowered it. Building's still there, nothing changes, right? Is that how that usually goes? Uh, I think her argument is where we just lowered it, then if that's what our opinion of the, what the value is, then she feels that the value should have been that for the last three years. Right. So that's where she's so coming she from. she wants to go for three years. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, two. Two the moral years. of the story is don't lower it. <coughs> well, I look at it this way. The opinion of the assessors was such at the time, and the opinion of this board of assessors was that. And yeah. Personally, I have no intention of signing an abatement. It's up to the board. Put paperwork on. There's a track of where I am. Whoever's keys that is. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So I just, you want me to go? Yep. I just had some things that I need to go over as the transition comes through that I wanted to make sure. Um, you guys have to appoint someone to be the BMV agent. With that note, truthfully, Mandy's probably the only one you can appoint because she's had both the classes, but she has have had to work here for six months to keep plates. So I think she's really close. I don't know her start date, her hire date. Yeah, should um, we be an executive yeah. if we're going to be talking names and all that kind of thing? I don't think there's anything executive well, about it. It's not public. No. Yeah. Uh, all right. I don't have anything. Okay, well, Do you? you? No, no, no. I, I'm just saying, really, that's your only option because she's had both the classes and if, if all that stuff wants to stay. Um, on that note, here's the form, um, but we really need to do it just as soon as you can for the state. That, so you want me to leave that with you She'll guys? be six months, October 12th, okay. so, which is a holiday, so that following Tuesday that we're open, she's golden anyway, so as of six months. Okay, so. okay, so that's good. 
Um, so however, whatever you guys choose, but this, as soon as you can get to this, I need to get that off to the state. Um, another thing, as far as BMV is concerned, what I'd like to do, and I talked to Natalie at the state level, for the audit purpose, they probably don't have to come here. If whoever becomes that agent, like this Friday, I can go through the inventory with them, do the reports, which I'll do anyways, but we'll, we'll I'll we'll sign, sign it off. and I'll sign off and I can fax it over to her. I have her fax number mm -hmm. and all that stuff to whatever. I mean, even if you appoint her, she can figure out who she wants to do the reporting because there's no way she'll have time to, yeah. to do all of that. So um, rapid renewal also needs to get done weekly or at least once a week. So that's another thing that whoever's going to take that's going to have to delegate to where that gets done. And I can show them all. I don't have any issue with that. Um, you know. Is that something you know how to do? or No, it's only on no, my computer. I, I haven't done it's it. really easy. There's a book for it. It's simple, simple, simple. It's a, it's, okay. it's. We do need to take time once whoever is appointed, which I assume will be me since I'm the only one that has had the training, to sit with Christine and yep. go over all of these things yep. and do the training on her. So I do need Kathy as much as possible these next two weeks. Yep. Um, what else did I have? Um, um, point and pay, we have to change who the administrator is because I've been the administrator. I'm not sure I'm going to call them tomorrow <clears throat> to find out. I, I think that's just a name change. Okay. I'm the one, like if somebody tries to log in three times and they don't do it right, it locks them up. I can go in and unlock them, okay. so on, so on. So that needs to be changed. Um, CVR, the registrar, needs to delegate who the registrar is going to be. Um, that means that that means a reappointment. The clerk can also be the registrar. That's normally how sometimes sometimes just have a clerk and then they delegate who the registrar is. But that ha that's an appointment paper yep. expiring at a weird time. Yeah, the um, clerk usually automatically assumes that by law the clerk assumes that position until the, an appointment has been done. But the state does like to see an appointment paper on that. And really, that's um and unless I something comes up and I think about it through the next couple of weeks trying to get all my stuff together um, and the only thing else I'll put out there on the table is if they need me through this transition I can come in on Monday afternoons and I have no problem with it I mean that's not I mean that's, that's that. you know I don't mind coming in and helping cross training whatever it, you know whatever it takes or they get yeah. this is tax time too so I know how it's going to be yeah. but um, Monday afternoons I will have time to do that if somebody needs me to come in and help them get nice, nice. smoother through that yeah. transition. Okay, so I mean just, you know, any way you want to handle that, that's fine, but that's really all I have, so, but as soon as you can get that appointment decided and yep. what needs to happen there, that would be great so I can get that rolling for yep. everybody. Yep. Um, I do want them to, whomever, like, if, like, and Mandy said this before, if you appoint her or whomever you appoint, but we all should do it as a group, just in case, because more heads are better than one. When we, when I do the report like this Friday, right. if we can all kind of, I'll try to do it early because we're not so busy early Friday morning, and just walk through it, even if they're we just all, taking notes. As in we all, not we all. No, <laughs> not the <laughs> women out okay. there. The yes. women out front. Yes. 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 The yeah. workers out front. The worker bees. Yeah. Um. But um. So that way, everyone. Absolutely. Can, you know can because. See it. If when I'm not here oh, to yeah. help them, somebody's on vacation oh. or whatever, it yeah. just makes sense. Like yeah. A so, um, but I think that's. But we'll all be learning it really for the first time. Sue has covered a few times. Normally, Christine has always come in at the end of a vacation or you know when she needs to get the BMV report out and finished it up and sent it out. So I don't think anyone in the office has done it entirely. Yeah, Laura used to do it for me when I was out, but then when she left, we never had that time to cross train anybody out. So, right. yeah. you know, if I was out, I was never out. So, you know, like that. So, you know. Um, Let me, uh, oh my, so we're going to do BMV agent. Mm -hmm. Point and pay administrator. And CVR registrar. Registrar. And that's nothing, you don't have to do anything with the state with them. We have to go into CBR and just make the change. Mm -hmm. I called them earlier and they said that's how you, you just go in the system and make the change. Kind of like when you came aboard, just add mm -hmm. you, I just added you in. Yep. They get the information by us putting it in there. Okay. They do so. want an appointment paper done though. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
we'll talk about this later tonight. Okay. And that's it for me. Not yet it is in. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, right now it is, but not yet. You still have two weeks. Oh, okay. Well, I can go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Right. Right. She was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Um, I do have a couple things. I'm on your... I'm, I should be next on your agenda. You are. I'm just jumping in. Um, in response to all of that, um, I want to post the position as soon as possible. Yeah. I have basically Kathy is my deputy. Um, I have <clears throat> altered her job description just a little bit, but really not much because she's doing everything that Christine's going to be doing. Um, the only thing is I changed it to full time because it's a full time position and Kathy's just part time. And, um, and I kind of made it a, a two lines I added in there were, you know, this position is going to be helping me with all aspects of the tax process, including the lien process, and that they're going to help me with BMV things. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping I can post that f through the entire month of October, October 1st to October 30th. Um, I don't think two weeks is enough time, and truthfully, with Christine leaving, I'm tying up loose ends as it is right now, I won't have time to sit and interview with yep. people before the election. Yep. So if we could post it for all of October and then I have possibly come in and sit with you to go over all the applications again um, on Monday, November 9th, if that's okay. We're gonna talk about it later tonight, see where exactly where we wanna go with this. With this position? Yeah. Okay, so if you, if I was thinking, I would have printed out that job description, but I can get it to you before I leave tonight. That sounds good. Yep. Um, like I said, I mentioned Kathy. Kathy, when we interviewed her, if you guys will probably remember, asked for the first week of October off for vacation in her interview. Mm -hmm. She has since said, in light of Christine leaving, where that would be Christine's last week, she's willing to come in until 3 o'clock for that week, which would be extremely helpful for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. to do what I need to do. That week is actually the week that we can test the AVS system, which is the ADA compliant booth. Um, if I can have her in here, I have schedule with Chris to use the gym. I need to Tuesday next week set up, take all the booths that I got delivered out of the boxes, put them all together, empty the old booths if we can get those to the recycling and just reorganize that, set up and test my AVS. So it's really imperative that she come in next week. Um, and she said she was willing to come in until three if she can trade that for a vacation week down the road. She knows she's not gonna get paid for the vacation week, but. I'm fine with that. Yeah, absolutely. I just wanted yeah. to let you guys know that was nice of her to. Yeah. Retract that for us. Um, yeah, and she has been a huge, huge help. She's good. Um, okay, training. Uh, I need to do training for the election workers. Some of the duties have changed. I went to the elections conference last week. Um, they've given me a wealth of knowledge. I have switched some positions. Christine's not going to be with us, so we need to put some other people. And I'd really like to October 27th, which is I think the Tuesday before the election. Yeah, so it's exactly one week before the election. I'd like to train them here okay. at five, yeah. if that's okay. Yeah. So we're good there. What was that date again? October 27th. At 5 p.m. at the town hall. <coughs> now. Do you have enough people? I do. I changed things this year, this election, and I'm basically I'm going to use it as a dry run for my presidential in November. Sure. I'm going to see how things work, how I need to switch it up. Sure. Um, and SOS has been great with me on everything. So. Another thing, we're losing Christine, so that means we're losing a notary at that counter. Mm -hmm. I have a PO here to hopefully get Kathy to be a notary because she is not right now. 
It's a fifty dollar commission fee. Mm -hmm. So I will leave the PO with you guys. Yep. Put it with your. Yep. Um, see how that goes. Actually, this is a supplies PO that I figured I would just bring in. Did you? And the reason why this is Walmart. Mm -hmm and not staples is because, and I attached both the staples and the Walmart cart so that you could see even after tax on Walmart, yep. we are hundreds of dollars cheaper. Yep, okay. So there's that one. Okay, training for election workers. You're gonna let me know by posting a position. Events ordinance is really why I'm here. I'm just trying to get over on. Did you ever bring in the uh, printer ink in the package there? For the no, screen? it's in my office. I can bring it into you. Um, spiral binding. Okay, binding for the tax book. Yeah. Staples only does spiral, which is, you know, yeah. notebook. Yeah. Um, USM no longer does it. I've heard rumblings that UMO does it. If you guys want me to explore UMO some more instead of the spiral, um, Staples will do spiral binding. I think that's binding. what it was anyway. It was uh, well, I formal. tried USM, I tried all the other ones except for UMO. UMO is the only one I ever I, I'm tried. going from memory. Do you remember them saying that in your law class for assessing? The commitment book's supposed to be bound, and we yeah. haven't ever done that. Do you remember, right. did they say where they were getting it done? No, I don't think so. See, it said it was like, this is a couple of years ago. It was like I thought it was months. USM, which yeah. is where I started, but it no, probably it was UMO. Yeah. So I'll, I'll contact them first, because yeah. Staples will do spiral for six bucks a book, but... I mean, that's terrible. Yeah. New Hampshire State. Terrible. Huh. Try New Hampshire State Prison. Maine does not do um, paper stuff. New Hampshire does. Maine does, um, like, furniture. Try well, them did, and see if they'll have it. They did a chair for the Pope. What? <laughs> they did a chair for the Pope. Not the prison. Maine. Somebody else did. <laughs> yeah. Prisoners did. Prisoners did. No, no, no. It was Thomas Moser. Yeah, yeah. 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 $10,000 <laughs> chair. Yeah. I used to get some of my, my so stuff done at the prison or the forms forms. and things like that. Try that, Mandy. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mandy, can I ask a question? I can. Can I? Have public one. participation at the end of that segment? Is she done? I'm done on binding. <laughs> oh, it, it has to do with the elections, so actually, no, that's, I don't want it to. Leave my mind. Yeah, that's quick. It is, uh, Mindy. You had talked about before um, the where the election was held and mm -hmm. stuff not being ADA compliant mm -hmm. and being unlawful. Did you um, ever have the chance to check into the Hanson I did. School? I walked around with Tom Ledoux. We walked around the Hanson School. It's not bigger, and it doesn't have two doors to the outside. It does not. Oh. Nope. There's the front door. Mm hmm. Which would work, but my, and he and I agree on this, when you walk in the front door, on this side you have the front office, mm -hmm. and opposite that you have the nurse. So if I were to even guardrail that, uh, there's no way I would be able to do it without cutting off someone's path. So traffic would be all mingled with students and teachers, and it's hard. I did come up with a better setup for Lebanon Elementary and I called him, I asked him about removing that pole in the middle of that door, which is what makes it not ADA compliant. He called the janitor, the janitor said it is a five minute job to take that pole out. How so good is that? We're just going to take the pole out. <laughs> good. Um, and then I don't have to have the residents going to a new place, I don't have to worry about, you know, the Hanson School setup. We are going to enter in the back of the building on the side on the side of the gym okay. yeah and come through and exit that front door it makes for smoother traffic and that way no one has to be going through that hallway at all and he feels safer about that as far as students are concerned mm. so are they making that like a ramp i had did ask at one time and i'm glad you asked me that because i want to follow up with That'd be a um, problem for a handicapped person trying you're to get correct. In, especially in inclement weather i asked dan and mike to make me a ramp a while ago, and I'm sure that they forgot, so thank you. Actually, just a removable they ramp. They should make they should make a permanent one there. Well, this doesn't have to be a the real school's ramp. Not it's, ours. Just, it's just to level things off. I mean, technically, Sad Sixty owns the school, so I don't think that I have permission to do anything permanent to that door. Yeah. 
But well, we got to work on it because another thing. Mm -hmm. What about a temporary ramp if somebody takes a hike off it for whatever reason? I don't know what you mean. It like falls on it? Yeah, are we taking responsibility? Well, I'm going to talk to Tom, I'm sure. Maybe, because that could be one of those things that the school because that budget door doesn't that need they could just take care of and be done with it. Doesn't it just have a handrail? Yep. Mm. Yeah, yep. if it's a regular ramp, yeah, yeah. especially. Yep. For sure. And they make, though, there's all kinds of, even with a handrail, portable ramps like mm -hmm. that. Or it's a it's a possibility to make one, so that's what I was looking into. Okay, where was I? No one accepted the budget committee term. Okay. Did so you guys are at square one again. Did you get that lady? I got in touch with everyone. So can we have a new list of everybody you're contacting oh across the Oh goodness. You want me to get go see her? Yeah. I'll give you guys a new Mozart's <laughs> white. Uh, there's his daughter was on the list. Thank you. Jen. His daughter was on the list. What's his daughter? And she said no. Right, today. Oh, she can? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <coughs> so far, I want to say Robert Cheever, Jen Bozak, and what was the third one? Sandy Hutchinson this time. They have all you, denied. Did everybody say yes, the first people that you contacted the first time around? For the appointments? What are you talking about? Well, we don't, we've done this twice in the last month, so. Yeah. Who, who did you call the first time around? Those are the people that I called the first time around. No. No, you're talking about way back the, the alternate. alternate. So there's no sense calling them to see if they want to do a three year. Right, right, okay. Or finish it out or whatever. Yeah. Wouldn't be three, but. Well. Be finishing up Tommy Starter. I don't know if Karina was the first person I called or not, and she's the one that accepted it, so I'll have to go back and look at that original list you gave me. But I have it on here. I'll give you a new list. And some of them are already, some on that list are on the committee right now. And Ray. So kind of. Serving a term already, so. He's on that list. I'm on that list. Ray, kind of which is my boy. Yeah, I mean, that one can be, but I don't want to go sit on that. I'm already there anyway. You didn't get any votes once? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted me. Okay, so now the events ordinance. Um, and I think I had her block out some time for us. Aren't you so excited? Mm -hmm. Yay. I just want you to look over this one more time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we need to know what is being proposed to be put on the ballot. That's why Gary's here as well. You don't have to certify a copy of this ordinance to me until seven days. You believe that? I looked it up a thousand times. Seven days I need a certified copy, but I'd like for it to be done before that because we have a public hearing on the phone yet. And there are some things that Mike was supposed to go over Section three. One and a half gallons of water per person. I did look that drinking up. and lavatory service purposes. Right. Most toilets when you flush them, you're gonna use that much water. Even conservative. <laughs> I know. So there goes your drinking water and something to wash your hands <laughs> with. <laughs> what are we gonna do there? <laughs> 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 Oh my so God. What, is your, what is your concern that it's my too concern much? My concern is, yep, yeah, you're too little. That it's too you little. You want people, yeah, it's too little. Okay. Yeah, because you want your one and a half gallon just goes down the toilet and that's it. And Some of them are two gallon. Yeah. Right. Right. Put a sign up. You may only use the bathroom yeah. once. You well, you can drink water, and wash your hands, or you can flush the toilet. So let's what think about this, though, because <laughs> most places don't. Most outdoor festivals, which is what we're talking about here, events and outdoor things, yeah. don't have. Most don't have. They have porta potties. You don't flush a porta potty. Right. So, so is that is that in there somewhere? That they that can be covered by a porta potty. 
Oh. It says da, 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 da. where water, yeah, and that's what it says. Where water yeah, under pressure is not available and non water toilets are used, at least what one and one half gallons <laughs> water per person shall be. So that's saying if you're not using <laughs> you flushable toilets, then you only okay. need one and a half gallons. Okay. You get it. You got it covered. Good work. current mass gathering isn't it one porta potty facility for every 50 people or is it every 100 people I think it is something like that it does have a number in there do you want me to pull it yeah because I think you're going two we're going one f for every 125 it probably should be consistent and what did you say the first one was the mass gathering orders yes, 100 I, I think 100 you said yeah. All right, I'm going to go get my code book. It's been too long since I looked at it. I'm going to go get my giant book. I'll be right back. Gosh, that book weighs more than you do. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's all hustle and bustle up there, and it's very quiet in here. Don't be letting the word out on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I may have almost just dropped it, so.
It's a little better. This is really not it. You guys voted on it a bunch of times. <clears throat> yes, we did. One fifty. One for each one fifty. Okay. What do I have in mind? One twenty five. You got two for every two hundred fifty people. And then well the first two fifty and then the first two fifty and then um, one for every one hundred and fifty. And I have that's two fine. for the first two fifty because one of them needs to be accessible. Yeah, that's fine. Do you want a copy? I'll explain to them for you. How's it going? Utter silence. 